I'm in CapCut for desktop, and I've got a video clip here of a fella who's doing some thinking, and I'm going to put some text behind him. I'll come up to the media panel, which is on the upper left-hand side, click on the text icon, and then just drag this default text down on. I'm going to change what this text says. We'll make it say deep thought. I also want to make it uppercase, so let's go ahead and do that. And I want a fatter font here, so I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to pick my Open Sans Bold, and it kind of blends a little bit. So I think what I'll do is come down here to Shadow, give it a shadow. That's a bit much, so we'll drag it back down a little bit. Maybe something like that. That all looks good, but it's still in front of my fella, and I want it behind him. What we need to do is we need this fella separate from this background. Since our tracks work like layers in a video editor, we need to have a track in the back that'll have this background, and then we need our next layer to have this text, and then we need the top layer to be this fella without his background. So let's get that done. We need to make sure we have our video clip selected and we need to make a copy of it. So we can either do control C or we can right click and select copy. And then we want to put it right up here. We're going to say paste. And of course it puts it below our text, but that's not a problem. We can just select this text layer, click and drag it down till you get that green line right between the two video clip layers and release. So now we have a text sandwich. We've got a video on top, video on bottom. Don't worry that our text disappeared. We're going to fix that. So we're going to come back and select this top layer, our fellow that's on top. I'm going to go over to my properties panel and I'm going to click remove BG and check the auto removal box. All right, that happened nice and quick and it's a super easy cutout because it's all one color in the background. And looky there, we've got some text behind him. I'm gonna select that text and I'm gonna move it up. I think I want it about where his head is. So we'll put it right about there. So let's play. All right, that accomplished what we wanted, but I think we can make it more fun. Let's select our text layer here. We're gonna make sure that our playhead is at the beginning of the clip. And we're gonna come over here and find scale, which is down under transform. And I'm gonna click the little diamond over here, which is the add keyframe button. It'll turn green and you'll see a little diamond just appeared on the clip itself. We're gonna come all the way over to the right. Make sure we're on that last frame there. And we're going to come back over here. I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe at the end for scale. Now, technically, you don't have to do that because if you already have a keyframe at, in your clip in the beginning, if I were just to change the scale, it will automatically add the keyframe for me. So we'll go ahead and let CapCut add it there. Now, as it's playing through, that gets bigger. I like that, but I think we can do even better. So I'm going to come up to animation and what I'd like for it to do is when it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, then at the end, I'd like it to just kind of pop out, blow up, go away, do something fun when it leaves. So I'm going to pick this animation blow up. It is a pro animation, but look, there are tons and tons of other animations here. You can find lots of free ones if you're using the free version. Also, you see in the timeline, it shows us where this animation, this out animation is going to start. So I don't want my text to keep growing after that animation starts. So let me zoom in my timeline a little bit. I'm going to grab my keyframe here and I'm going to drag it down to where that animation is going to start. That way it'll grow, 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 and then it'll stop growing as the animation starts. I can also see here that my ends aren't quite lined up. So let me go ahead and get that fixed. There we go. Now we'll go back to the beginning here. There we go. I kind of like that. It makes the text one of the characters on the screen now. It's not just uh, static and sitting there. You can do more with this too, especially with the keyframes. If I want to add more action to it, I can come down here. I've got my playhead at the beginning of the text clip. I can click on the keyframe, the keyframe next to color. And then I'm going to come all the way over here to where our keyframe for scale is. And I'm also going to put a keyframe and then I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and I'm going to come over here and I think we'll use like a red that's in his shirt. So we'll click a color there. That looks pretty good. And let's go back and play through again. And just so you understand what's happening here is what I explained in the beginning about the layers. You've got your full video clip on the back. 
So let me go ahead and hide these upper ones all the way on the bottom, which is the layer that's going to be the furthest back that we're looking at. In the, in the all the way behind, you've got this clip. You've got the clip of the the dude thinking. He's got you got himself and you got the background. And then if we turn this one on, now you've got the text. So the text is above him. Wait, I thought we fixed that. Ah, we did, not to worry. The last layer that's on top, the forwardmost layer, if we go ahead and turn that on, it's just our little fella. It's not the background, it's just the little fella. Now, because it's the same exact clip on the top that's all the way on the bottom, every time the guy on the bottom is moving, the guy on the top is moving the exact same way. That's why you never see the guy on the bottom. And I can show you that by turning this clip off and you can see this is our top layer over the text. The background layer, the bottom layer, it's just there to give us that background. Let's do something else with this text behind a person. I've got this clip here, and this is from the CapCut Stock Media Library, as well as the clip that we just used of the fellow that was thinking. That was from the CapCut Stock Media Library as well. So he is sort of doing a little weird dance and being silly, and that's great. And what I think needs to go here is a no dancing sign painted on this wall. The way we're going to accomplish this is we're going to grab this default text, drag it down, drop it on our timeline. I'm going to stretch it all the way out because it needs to be, if it's painted on the wall, it's got to be there the whole time, right? I think this would look better if we used maybe a stencil font. So let's drop down this font, type in stencil, and there we go. That looks more like something that would be painted, but I doubt it would be this super bright white, and of course it's on top of our guy. We can go ahead and duplicate our guy and make our cutout first, and then we'll make that text right this time. So let's grab him. We're going to copy. We're going to come over here and drop him with a paste. And then these things need to be lined up because, as you can tell, they are not. So I have snapping turned on. That's going to make this a lot easier. That way, when I get over close to the playhead, it'll snap to it and make sure they line up right. So that's looking pretty good. We play through. Uh, all right, so far so good. Now what we need to do is make our text sandwich. So we're just going to grab this text, we're going to drag it down till we get our green line, and drop it in between the two, and get it lined back up, and now we have our text sandwich. We need to come to our top layer, where this fella is on the background. We're going to come over to Remove Background, click our Auto Removal, and just like that, we have him separated from the background, and he's moving along just fine. Now let's go make some changes to this text. What we want to say is, like I said, I want this to be a no dancing. That seems appropriate. Maybe we'll raise it up just a hair there. We do have it in the center. We can tell by that green vertical line there is telling us this color is not working at all. I think it would be fun for this clip if we picked a color like within his pants here, one of these lighter colors. So let's click on the color and click on the eyedropper tool. Now the eyedropper tool, the center of that, that little teeny box in the center is showing you the precise location it's taking the color from. And then the ring around it, it changes color to show you what color you've selected. So when I get over a yellow, that ring turns yellow. And when I come down into the pink, you see I got, I'm getting dark pinks where the shadows are. I want something lighter, so I'm gonna go out here. Okay, that works. The only problem is it doesn't quite look like it's painted on. It's awful, awful thick and, and rigid. So let's come down to blend and under opacity, we will bring that down. I want it to be light enough that you can sort of see the joints between the bricks and whatnot, maybe 60%. And now it looks a little bit more like it was painted on, like it's part of the wall and not just floating there in free space. So let me come back over. I'm just going to click out of everything so that I don't have the white line around. Bring my playhead up. We'll hit play. And that's looking pretty good. I think I just ran in there and painted that wall for us. How about that? And that's how you get text behind a person in CapCut. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in CapCut or any other creator tool, let me know. I'm always looking for ideas of the videos you want to see next. If you don't have CapCut yet, there's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, which means I may receive a small commission if you end up purchasing something. You don't have to. Hey, go try the free. It might do everything you need. And I certainly appreciate it when folks do use my affiliate links. If you want to keep going exploring CapCut with me, watch this video right here.